than standing behind the camera. So, last March, we got a telephone call from a niece of a former concentration worker. We saw the calls. So I asked for Michael Grill as interviewer and you, Kinder, as man standing behind the camera. And we had the last few questions to Ernst Nielsen, who were on the German bar in Hamburg as a uh, concentration prisoner. And uh, so I said, we can take it by this journey. So we went to Stegelse on the island of Sealand, where the capital of Copenhagen is. And the name of the former concentration prisoners was Axel Röfert Mikkelsen. He uh, is, was 95 years old and he was in a pensionist home. And when we visit him, the niece told us that he has no teas any longer. So it was very important for him to drink a glass of water when he was declaring, uh, explaining us about his story. And we got a typical formula with us where we have the normal questions. When he, was he born in Denmark or, other, or in other places? What did, what did he do when uh, Germany conquered Denmark on the 9th of April 1940? And then, by which accident or by which reason he came to a concentration camp? Well, he was, he told us, a son of a farmer with ten brothers and sisters. He was very pure. So he went from Tistel, 200 kilometers to Alborg in the north of, of Jutland, of Denmark. And then he was on the responsible office for unemployment. He asked for a job. There was no job for him. But he got an offer. He could sign a, a, a contract.